This is Alim from Javelin playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2014. Today I will put to the test and test extensively the new functionality introduced by one of the most important enhancements ever in SOLIDWORKS, the ability of replacing sketch entities. Why I'm saying that's extremely important for users is because whenever you need to change your design intent early on the feature tree, let's say I'm gonna replace a line with an arc or something like that, all the features that are being built on that reference are going to fail on the tree. Any assembly, uh, any assembly that has mates that are referring that a face or an edge created by that sketch um, is going to fail. Any other assembly component that is built in the context of the assembly referring again a face or an edge created by the sketch uh, that uh, has been changed is going to fail. So in SOLIDWORKS 2013 and prior, users would spend a lot of time troubleshooting these errors and fixing them. Let's see how SOLIDWORKS 2014 does that. So I have a simple case study on the left and a really, really complex one on the right. Let's start with a simple one. A uh, part that has only two features, a boss extrude and a cut extrude, and if I'm editing the cut extrude, you'll see that the design intent is for the cut to be um, terminating as an offset of 0.5 half an inch from this uh, face. So let's see what's happening if I'm changing that face. Let's edit the sketch defining that geometry. It looks like this is an arc and uh, I'm not really happy with the curvature. I'm, I want to control it a little bit better to get a more gradual curvature so I'm going to use a conic instead. Let's uh, even draw uh, an horizontal center line in order to apply maybe a tangency to the horizontal. And uh, since I'm still in the concept phase, I'm not going to fully define it. I just want to play a little bit with this. But I want to replace this arc with this conic. So I can do two things. I can delete the arc, and then I have a new option, the replace entity. Or I can just right click on the arc and use this new icon on the right mouse button menu. So I'm going to replace the arc with the conic and let's say I'm going to leave the arc still in there but as a construction geometry. You can see the result. Let's save the sketch, rebuild the model and as you can see the cut extrude didn't have any problem to identify the new shape. It, it was able to identify the top face. Let's take this to the extreme as I said and uh, have here a feature with lots, uh, sorry, a part with lots and lots of features. The, those of you who already took the surface modeling class might remember the remote control. And uh, all the features are really, really complex. Uh, I was trying to identify a sketch that will uh, impact as many features as possible and I uh, found out that the surface trim is important because this sketch it actually defines the side of the remote. So everything actually flows from here. Let's edit this sketch and uh, let's change it. First of all, this was done with an old B spline. The type of splines the SOLIDWORKS 2013 and older were using. And if I'm showing you the curvature for this spline, notice that it has a bunch of kinks. Uh, it's not really clean. Um, I want to replace this with a style spline, one of the new Bezier type of splines introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2014. So let me start by changing the color of this old spline to something else. I'm going to make it red. So I'm going to keep it as a reference. And uh, now let's add the style spline. The thing with the style splines, uh, we are going to love them. The industrial designer are going to love them, but uh, they're a bit time consuming on s uh, setup. You have to do a bit of tinkering to, to get them uh, right. So uh, let's adjust this as, in order to make it as close as possible to the old B spline. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but just to give you an idea about what you can do. Of course, it's a good idea to, to make sure that this line is going to be horizontal and uh, And this line also horizontal, so when I mirror this, everything is going to be fine. I'm going to do it one more time here, make sure that this tail is horizontal. 
and uh, I'm just going to leave it a little bit into imperfect so you guys can see very clear the difference between the two. And now let's try to replace the old spline. So I'm going to go delete this spline, but don't just delete it, replace it with the new spline. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm just going to jiggle this end to make sure that the end of this spline is actually attached to the end of this line, defining the overall length of my remote. So the re coincident relation ha relations have been applied. And now I'm just going to save and rebuild the part. As you can see, there are lots and lots of features depending on this sketch. We'll see how many of them are going to rebuild properly and how many are going to fail. And the part has been rebuilt. Now let's take a look at the features that we have in here. So uh, going down, there is a surface loft that defines this face and it worked without any problem. Uh, there is a surface sweep that defines this face and again worked. There is a surface fill that defines this face and again it worked. Um, and if you're going uh, lower and lower, you're going to find out there is even a lip groove that is being based actually on this in, in big part on the shape defined by that sketch and it works and this is a really really complex feature. Uh, looks like the only one that failed is this snap hook and really the problem is with this 3D sketch. So if I'm hiding this body and maybe this one too, if I'm editing this sketch, you're gonna find out that it wasn't able to identify this edge this new edge. So looks like there is still a bit of work that SOLIDWORKS has to do on 3D sketches. So I'm just going to say this is supposed to be coincident there. Rebuild. And let's see if the hook works now. Everything is fine. There are no more errors in the tree. This is really, really amazing. I think SOLIDWORKS really did an amazing job with this uh, replace uh, sketch entity command. That will save us a lot of time. Thank you, thank you very much.